Welcome to my 30th episode of my lunch break and today we're going to go over ancient buildings um, that were demolished about 30 to 40 years after they're built. So here we go. They say that this building was built in 1870 and demolished in 1910. The part that is true is that it was demolished in 1910. This is the original Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. So, in 1870, they say this was built. Um, if you take a look at this, that is, what, 25 years before the power tool. Okay. 1895 was when they created the power tool. So don't forget that. I always want to say that because that is important. There was no cranes and all that. This is in Edinburgh, Scotland. This is the insurance company building. Um, if I've ever seen an insurance company building like that, I would think I'd just be shocked. They built this in 1905, they said, and demolished it in 1956. So it was around for 51 years, and... You know, that insurance company just needed a better building. This just wasn't cutting it. They needed something much, much better. And, I don't know, that architecture just wasn't holding up. This is the Royal Picardy Hotel. It was constructed in 1928 and officially opened two years later in 1930. And they demolished it 38 years later. Okay, so that just, you know... Just knock it down. Just get. We're just going to get rid of that one. Here is a town hall in Sunderland, England, UK. It was opened in, or in 1890 and demolished in 1971. So, you know, just 80 years and just knock that thing down. That, that town hall. we got to get a new one. That one just isn't, just not good enough, you know. You know, it's just not good enough. Those pillars on the top, just, nah, we need a new one. You know, it's been about 80 years. We need a new town hall. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get a new one. And if you notice, there are, uh, there's windows on the bottom. Uh, that's just for another day. I'll tell you guys more about that another time. Now. Let's go to another place. This is in South Korea. The Keijo Post Office in Seoul, South Korea, built in 1915. It was destroyed during the Korean War. So these wars are really helpful for these people that want to destroy the buildings. I'm sure of it. I mean, I don't know anything, but I am sure of that. But... Let's continue. This is the Ring Theater in Vienna, Austria. It's built in 1872, and it was destroyed by a fire. What do you know? Ten years later, in 1881. So, nine years. Uh, sure. Sure it was. This is amazing. The pillars on the second floor with the walkout, I mean, just... Incredible. Of course it was destroyed by a fire ten years later. Let's continue to the Preston Town Hall. Here's another town hall that just isn't cutting it, guys. It's just not cutting it. We need better stuff. It was built in the UK and England. Um, built in 1862. Most of the building was destroyed by a fire. Oh, another fire. In 1947. And was established... And still used up until 1962. Oh, sorry, it was stabilized. So they they rebuilt it a little bit, and then it was demolished <laughs> until in 1962. Ah, oh, yeah, 15 years later, get rid of it. New town hall. <laughs> oh God, sorry for laughing. This was just okay. Let's go to the next one. The this is a hotel in Mississippi. If you guys have ever seen Mississippi hotels, they like to build them like this <laughs> in 1891. Uh, it was also destroyed by a fire 
a fire again in 1926. That's a good way to get rid of a Tartarian building, I would say, huh? Just incredible. I mean, Mississippi? Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. The Bryson Bone Break block in Los Angeles, California in 1888. And they were just whipping these babies up in California, I guess, in 1888. So good, they made so many of them that they just knocked it down in 1934. Just demolished it. <laughs> Not good enough again. Chopped that one down in California, 1934. So they, they had that one up for about 30 to 40 years, and, you know, they got enough use out of it, and just demolish it. Next up, we have the Galveston Galveston. City Hall. Oh, this is in Texas. Uh, Texas, USA. In another 1888. Unbelievable. Just building these incredible structures all over in 1800s, huh? And just knocking them down. They must have been <laughs> hard at work with those horses, you know. No cranes, nothing. Just building them, knocking them down. They built it in 1888 and demolished it in 1966. Incredible. Just incredible. I mean, unbelievable. All right. Just put that clock up at the top and then knock it down. All right. Let's go to the next one. Cotton Exchange. This is an exchange place in New Orleans, Louisiana in 1883. So they just had this one up and they knocked it right down in 1920. Just Needed a new one, I guess. Um, you know, it just wasn't up to their standards, and you know, the arch architecture just wasn't wasn't good enough. wasn't cutting it. We needed a new style in 1920. All right, and that was just amazing. And let's go to the next one: the Euston Arch in London, England, UK. They built this one in 1837, so 60 years before the power tool. Uh, they must have had incredible ladders and very strong horses to carry all this stuff. And they knocked it down in 1962, right in time for everybody to see. And thank God we have pictures of it, because that baby is nice. Incredible. Look at those pillars. I mean, those are not just something we build like that. We don't build like that, okay? We don't. And we have cranes and tools, and we don't build like that. We we could. I mean, we would if we could, but we don't. All right? Now, let's go to this one. This is a bank. You know, let's just put some pillars on that bank and lions into the top. And this is in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia in 1856. The bank itself went out of business in 1884. And the building was demolished, demolished right after that. So they built this thing in 1856 and knock it down 30 years later. 28 to be exact. Why, why was this built in 1856? And we cannot build like that today. And then it's so easy to build that they just knock it down. Um, like it's nothing. Just knock it down. We'll build another one. You know. Alright. And uh, this is called... This is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It was built in 1874. And they knocked it down in 1935. Just incredible. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in 1874, so 21 years before the power tool, and they don't even have roads. Looks like no roads. They just, they can build these huge, massive buildings, but no road. Can't build a road, and just incredible. This is Villa Noop. Bremen, Germany, built in 1873, knocked it right down in 40 years later, 1912. Just 
Get rid of that, baby. Knock it down. We don't like it anymore. Just not what we're looking for in 1912. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God. Just not good enough for me. I just need it knocked down. <laughs> oh, God. Unbelievable. All right, guys. I'm, I'm done for today. This has been kind of long. Oh, one more. The Royal Arch, Dundee, Scotland. They built this thing in 1853, knocked it down 110 years later, 1964, and they said they were going to rebuild this, um, but let's see, I'll read you the exact quote. The Dundee City Council has stated that they could never have rebuilt something like the Royal Arch, but granite paving slabs were put on the site of the arch. Okay, so they were able to put some slabs down, but they could never rebuild it, says the Dundee City Council in 2015. So, yeah, they were going to they had a petition and everything. Just couldn't do it anymore. I wonder why. I wonder why they couldn't build the replica. Hmm. Very interesting. And if you can't rebuild it, why are you knocking it down? Why are you knocking it down? All right, guys, if you like this, hit the subscribe button. I will be making a lot more of these, and I was going to talk about Star Forts uh, today, but I got a little sidetracked with this video, and I am glad I did, because these are things that people should be sharing and seeing, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments below, that would be great. If you have anything to add or things you'd like me to share about, um, just comment below. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.